Hello, my name is Daniel Molner. And I'm Todd Phillips. And together we've co-created Momentum, a year-long artist immersion program. We have 13 artists who have devoted a year of their lives to their creative passion. And we are happy to bring you this interview series with each of them. We hope you'll be inspired to find out what it's like for each of these artists to be devoting a year of their life to their fuller creative expression. When I was deciding if I was going to do this year, it was a hard decision to make because there was other things, other big decisions I needed to make too. When I tuned into Momentum, I got a really warm feeling around my heart area. And it also felt like, wow, I'm going to be, I'm going to become a better person by doing this. I made a choice that, that to open my heart and to go with the thing that was going to develop me as a, as a person and enrich me in ways that then I can share and spread and it, I feel it's come true in many ways. So yeah, let's begin at the beginning. How did this all start and what was your intention? All right. Well, it all began with your call, Daniel, and I didn't really know what I was going to do at the start. But as it crystallized, it was like, you know, should I commit to something that I already know really well or should it be something that's exotic and new and a real edge for me? So I decided to go for the edge, and, which is exploring, uncovering and, and loving and connecting and committing to my voice as an instrument, as, um, as an exploration for the year. And so I called it the Pilgrimage into Sound. Beautiful. Well, I'm just going to say that you are quite a visual artist, and I see this as a huge, courageous, beautiful act to say, I love my voice, I want to develop it more, it's an area that I don't feel super confident in yet, and it's a place I'd like to grow, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, what? Amazing. definitely. What allowed you to, to be so bold and courageous? What, what, what do you think allowed you to, to venture into unknown territory, so to speak? Hmm. I consider myself an adventurous person to start with and courageous and resourceful and I like learning new things about myself and developing new gifts in myself and so it was more like uh, my curiosity hmm. pulled me in hmm. and also knowing that I actually do have an edge with women singers and I see singers out there and I get very envious and you know have this constriction in my heart when I see other women really shine with their voice and I was like you know what maybe why don't I just join them you know and see if I can maybe you know just look what's there in, in my voice to uncover and to reveal wow. and it was quite the journey um, to do that I mean I, I don't consider myself a really amazing vocalist that now will be like Grammy award winner <laughs> by any means but I definitely feel I've totally gotten more comfortable with my voice, more empowered as in my voice generally, because that's always been a place where I also nod up a lot, where I go, you know, um, not speak or hold things back. So I felt it was also a good area of my body to work and release and open and trust more and surrender to it. I, uh, I sang in front of 15 people, uh, uh, 150 people, and um, on stage with a microphone, totally freaked out, <laughs> lost it some, lost my words here and there, but at least I did it. <laughs> so learning to be seen in my voice is very scary. It was very scary, and feeling more comfortable with that. I also bought a Shruti box, which is an instrument that is just more of a drone instrument where you can easily make just sounds over it, over the top of it which I will bring to more of um, open mic gatherings or gather, uh, you know, any kind of gathering to bring a little live music to it. I feel comfortable with that now, whereas before, just, uh-uh, I'm, I'm not singing in front of anyone. <laughs> and that has changed. That has changed, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, thanks, Daniel. <laughs> oh, man, you did it. So at a certain point, the, th the kind of singing, you know, pop songs or d working with your Shruti box and the way you had been doing it shifted and then came this interest in sound healing. Could you say anything about like what was that kind of magic moment or what was the, the turnaround there where you're like, you know what, I'm actually drawn to this other thing. 
I was at one of Peggy Black's um, events and she has something that she calls the sound pod where a group of people get together to use sound in creative ways in, in ways to to use sound as a prayer and on the way back from this particular meeting I was so excited and so like oh, I want to learn more about it and she's a very intuitive person and she said you know Martina I think that's what you're going to continue to develop now at least in momentum and if not further going going further and it's like that resonated.